learners. I am Teacher Kyle, your science teacher. For today's discussion, our topic is all about simple machines. So, before we begin our class discussion, let us first sing the simple machine song with the tune of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. Okay, let's start. Simple, simple, simple machines. This can help to do anything. Poly, lever, wedge, and screw. Incline plane and wheel and axle. Now I know the simple machines. They can make our life easier. Thank you. Machines are used to transfer energy, multiply speed, and change the direction of the force. In this topic, we'll talk about the simple machines or the simple tools that multiply the amount of force to make our life easier or our work easier. So, simple machines are found ev everywhere, especially in our homes. So, to begin our exploration, so let us do this task. Class, uh, I have here now different kinds of simple machines in me. First, we have the seesaw. This is a seesaw. So, uh, what would be uh, its uses? It is used to cut our hair or to cut papers so its characteristic is uh, having a sharp edges so so if you use it what kind or what type of a simple machine you think that is excellent it is a type of a lever very good Next, we have some nails. So, these are nails. So, nails from its use is to hold objects like woods or like our furnitures in our houses. Its characteristic is more of a pointy edge. So, there is something pointy in here. So, what do you think will be its type or where does it belong to the simple machines? Very good. Nails are part of a wedge. Very good class. You've gotten so far correct answers. And for the last material that I have here is a plastic cup or the cup of a toothpaste. So let us see that this is the cup of the toothpaste. So, the use of this cup is to hold the toothpaste and not to get waste the toothpaste inside in it. So, its characteristic is to seal, is to, by twisting it. So, by twisting it, what type of a simple machine is it? Very good. It is a type of screw. So, there are other lot of examples that you can find in your home like a stair staircase that is an example of an inclined plane a flagpole near your uh, near a school or if you have a school near in your house that is a example of a pulley so to further discuss our topic for today let us all remember that let us remember that Simple machines has its six types. So the first type of the simple machine is called the inclined plane. An inclined plane is a flat surface at an angle, whether in sloping or slanting surface, that looks like a ramp. Its uses is to lift or raise a heavy object by moving up a slope. Examples of an inclined plane includes stairs, slides, or wooden ramps. Number two, wedge. 
which are objects with two inclined planes positioned back to back that tapers to a thin edge. Its uses is to cut or for splitting certain materials apart. So, examples of wedges include nails, axes, pins, and knives. Number three, the wheel and axle. The wheel and axles are made up of a circular frame or its wheel that revolves on a shaft or a rod or its axle. Its uses is to raise weights and carrying transports or loads over land and travel a long distance. Examples of wheel and axle include rolling pins, doorknobs, or steering wheel. Number four, pulley. A pulley is a wheel that carries a flexible rope, cord, cable, chain, or belt on its rim. Its uses is lifting or raising and lowering a load easier. Examples of pulley include flag poles, ropes on a sailboat, and movable clothes line. Number five, the screw. A screw is a long inclined plane wrapped around a shaft. A circular cylindrical thing with a continuous winding or spiral rib. Its uses is to fasten or hold fasten things used to hold lifted objects. Examples that are included in screws are bolts, jar lead, and end of eye bulb. Last but not the least, number six, the lever. A lever is, is a long beam or bar that rests or turns or lifts on support or the fulcrum. The lever has three parts, the fulcrum, the load, and the effort. The uses of a lever is to lift remove or pull out objects easily can openers the tweezers are or the wheel barrel fulcrum is the supporting point of the lever while the effort is the force used to cause the movement and the load is the weight being moved or being lifted there are three classes of lever based on the position of the effort load and fulcrum the first class lever is the fulcrum is located between the load and the effort examples of a first class lever includes scissor crowbar and seesaw the second class lever is the load is located between the fulcrum and the effort examples that are included in the second class lever includes wagon bottle opener or the nut cracker the third class lever is the effort is located between the fulcrum and the load Examples of a third class lever includes the broom, stapler, and fishing rod. Okay kids, now that we have discussed the different types of simple machines, its characteristics, and its uses, it's now time to evaluate what you have learned. So, let us try to answer these questions. If you've got all the questions right, then very good. You have learned the characteristics, the uses, and the types of simple machines. For your additional activity, so 
uh, it is posted now in our blackboard and you can write our additional activity in a clean sheet of paper and you have to pass it for our next meeting so that's it today grade 6 science learners once again i am teacher kyle and i hope that you have learned a lot to our discussion for today see you next time goodbye